a uh, white lady is very, very upset at other white ladies. And she's very upset at other white ladies because she and her fellow white ladies have committed a truly evil and atrocious act. They have given birth to white men. Buckle in, I'm gonna get brutally honest. The hand that rocks the cradle rules the world. Who created these monsters? We did. We birthed them. We nursed them. We read their little nursery rhymes and sing the little songs. We taught them in their preschools and their kindergartens and their first and third grades. White women craft their own gilded cage. And we do it by raising little misogynistic patriarchal tyrants. We raise the little boys who grow up to be the Donald Trumps, the Mitch McConnells, the Greg Locks of this world. White women raised them. Now I hear you on the last sentence. When these little tyrants grow up and abuse us and we speak out about it, yeah, we're gonna be institutionalized. Yeah, she's saying, yeah, they're gonna call us crazy, huh? Why would they ever think we're crazy? We just hate ourselves and our kids. <laughs> and she's got those eyes. You can tell by the eyes. The eyes are usually a giveaway. This is the logical conclusion, though. Uh, the illogical, I guess, conclusion of what the left is pushing, which is a mother despising her own child. The politics of resentment, which starts out as just being about everyone else. I'm really good. And everyone else is really bad. That politics of resentment is going to come back like a snake eating its own tail. And it's going to come back on a kind of personal resentment. She hates herself because she's a white woman. And she even hates her own child. Ties right into the politics of abortion. Why does the left not merely tolerate or encourage abortion to some moderate degree? Why does the left make a sacrament out of abortion? Why is abortion the sacred fundamental right according to the left? It's, it's at the very heart of this politics of resentment. Mother Teresa made this point 30 years ago in a speech at the United Nations. She said, Abor I'm paraphrasing slightly. She said, abortion is the greatest evil in the world. And the reason is, if a mother can kill her own child, there is no limit to the evil and depravity that will go on. If a mother can kill her own child. And this video of this lady is, we are the, we should hate ourselves because we have committed the great evil action of giving birth and creating life. So we obviously need to hate our own children. That is the level of animus that you see on, on the left. You also see this is the level of animus against white men. The only group in America that you can legally discriminate against is white men. White people broadly, to some extent Asian people, because they get lumped in as white people for some reason, and men kind of broadly, but specifically at that apex, at the very tippy top of the intersectional pyramid, it's straight white men who know that they're men. And beyond legal discrimination in college admissions and work, it's the only group that you're socially allowed to constantly demean and insult. Can't do that about black people. Can't do it about Hispanic people. Can't do it about Asian people. Can't do it about women. Can't do it about homosexuals. Can't do it about any other kind of sexual identities other than white men, straight white men who know that they're men. That's the group that you can so vilify that even their mothers are now in encouraged to vilify. Right now, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Knowles. Summer is upon us. People are traveling. I've been traveling. Have you ever thought about all the people that make a great trip so great? I'm thinking of the hotel concierge. I'm thinking of the tour guide. If you're going to some wild destination, I'm thinking of the chef at the cool restaurant, the bartender you strike up a conversation with. You know, outstanding talent is crucial for a successful business. If you are hiring, you can find talent for roles such as these and more at ZipRecruiter. When you try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash Knowles, ZipRecruiter uses powerful matching technology to find and match the right candidates up with your job. You easily review these recommended candidates. You invite your top choices to apply. ZipRecruiter's got a complete 
suite of tools that makes it easy to filter, review, and rate your candidates. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's why ZipRecruiter is the number one rated hiring site based on G2 satisfaction ratings as of January 1st of this year. Travel to this easy to remember web destination right now, ZipRecruiter.com slash Knowles. That is where you can try ZipRecruiter for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash K-N-W-L-E-S. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. But before we go, I've got to get to a story about positive masculinity. You always hear about toxic masculinity. And I think this guy was a white guy too, though. I'm not totally sure, but he's definitely a dude. A good guy with a gun saving a lot of lives in Indiana. The reason you're not going to hear about this story very much is because it contradicts the Libs narrative. There was a mass shooter at a mall in Greenwood, Indiana. He fired into a civilian crowd in, uh, at the food court. He killed three people. He wounded two people. But before he could kill 20 people or 30 people, a good guy with a gun, Elisha Dickin, 22 years old, uh, was there. And he was carrying his gun because of Indiana's constitutional carry law. So only because of that, that great law that was passed in Indiana, you had po- culture downstream of politics here. The guy was carrying his gun. He pulls his gun out. He shoots the mass shooter. And sadly, the mass shooter already killed three people. He could have killed 10 times that. Could have killed even more than that. You saw what happened in Uvalde where the cops didn't show up on time. They did show up and they didn't do anything. The good guy with a gun, absolutely vindicated. You are not going to hear that story. One last little tiny final story. There are some Republican senators right now being led by Senator Joni Ernst who are proposing making June Protect Life Month. It's the month of life because that was the month that Roe v. Wade was overruled in the Dobbs decision. I think this is a great idea. Conservatives need to engage in the culture. We need liturgical celebrations. We need to celebrate things. All states always do that. It's kind of religious. It's very public. And every culture has always had these sorts of things. Public festivals, uh, sacred days, feast days. Right now we've got a, a sacred month, quote unquote, and it's pride month in June. And we have all sorts. We have the month, Black History Month, Women's Month, this month, that month. We have traditional holidays, the 4th of July, Thanksgiving. We have these kind of sacred days. We absolutely need one for life. You can't back away from the culture. You can't say, oh, well, just keep my values out of your life or this. That's, that's not how politics works. It's not how it's ever worked. And the wind is at our sails here. And people are going to be supportive of this. And furthermore, when we, when we act in a certain way, when we revere things, when we venerate things, when we worship together, that affects the culture. It affects how we think and how we believe. There's this idea. It's a Catholic idea. Lex orandi, lex credendi, lex vivendi. The way that we worship affects the way that we believe. It affects our actual views of things, and it affects the way that we live. The wind is at our sails. Dr. Fauci knows it. You all know it. So let's push ahead, and let's get, let's get the month of life exalted in June so that maybe that will move the way we believe and the way that we live in the right direction. I'm glad you liked that clip. Now, I am very close to a million subscribers. I really want to hit a million subscribers. That's when they're going to send me my big gold play button. And I'm going to feel like a really, really cool guy until they just nuke my channel. There's no way they're going to let me get above a million subscribers, right? There's no, there's no chance that the powers that be, well, who cares? I don't mind. I don't mind. I want to accelerate all the way there, baby. If you don't mind, subscribe, ring the bell, get the notifications. We'll see you next time.